Thank you to whoever told Steve Harvey to set aside for the second part of the verses. We didn't come here for your teeth, your afro, your jokes, or your suit. <laughs> Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black bean neck on. Welcome to another Kinkaree's video. Girl, I am so excited to talk to y'all. I got a lot to talk about, girl. We have not talked in a minute and a lot has happened. Girl, what is going on with Hot Girl Summer? What is going on with the city girls? Y'all are down bad from this whole conversation with JT and Uzi and Carisha's boo thing responding. Girl, to y'all talking about, <laughs> the girls talking about, what was that? Hot Girl Summer, but my man picking me up. Huh? It's not making no sense to me. So we got that. We also got some other things going on. Um, T.I. and Tiny has responded to all of the allegations and things. And it's just not looking good. Um, the Isaac Brothers and Earth, Wind & Fire on this weekend. And Steve Harvey really tried to make it a moment by himself. And we like Steve Harvey. We don't care about you, your teeth, your suits, your anything. I'm so glad that somebody told Steve Harvey, like, hey, bro, like, like, cut it out. Cut it out. I'm glad somebody told him that. But with all that being said, we can't get into any of the tea for today, any of the stuff. And girl, let me go ahead and tell you, it's going to be two parts of this video because we got a lot to talk about. But before we get into anything, we got to get into this mental health check-in. So, mental health, y'all know I love to talk about mental health and all that. Where am I at on a scale from 1 to 10? 10 being great, 1 being bad. I think I'm like stuck in the middle. Like, I'm stuck in the middle. Like, very much in the middle. It's been like a long two weeks there's a lot going on i got a little bit of some bad news today well not necessarily bad news but kind of news that's got me like a little shook a little bit and i will say this i need uncle sam if anybody who work at the rs please find justin's tax returns from 2020 and go ahead and process them please like i filed my taxes in february i ain't looking for no refund i know y'all ain't giving me no refund girl i owe y'all but that's the thing i want to go ahead and give you y'all coin go ahead and do what i need to do to so i can be you know together that's what i'm looking for so i just need them i need some paperwork done and it's just like i filed my taxes in february and it's like about to like what is it we could about to be close to may like this is almost like three weeks before may and it's like girl time is closing closing period so that's got me a little bit shook but other than that this week has been um the last couple of weeks have been good i think i'm just kind of like finally finding my spot back because the whole situation with the little Nas X interview and getting prepared and all of that and all the other stuff I've been doing behind the scenes we're getting ready to like do some stuff with YouTube and stuff I've just been extremely busy and I haven't been able to get in front of the camera and talk like I want to about these topics but you know other than that I'm here I can't wait to tell y'all about these, these, these things that I got, I got, I got a lot to say, girl. So y'all know it's going to be given um, part two. So y'all go ahead and get your weeks prepared for that. Um, but other than that, we going to get it. So let's go ahead and get into the tea for today. Let's go ahead and start with Hot Girl Summer. <laughs> so last year was given Hot Girl COVID. I don't know, whatever. Um, Hot Girl Summer is just, we don't know. They was talking about it might as well be white boy something. But I feel like we've already seen that. Um, the early in January when y'all was around here kicking doors down, turkey names. So now you got <laughs> Megan Thee Stallion now in a relationship with her boo. Love that for her. But it's like Hot Girl Summer has been kind of counseled. You know, you got Megan was talking all this shit. Now she in a whole relationship. And mm -hmm. then you got the city girls talking all that mess, talking about scamming folks, doing all these kind of things. And now she, and I like how crunk they are to men. And now you got Uzi talking crazy to JT's friend on the phone call. And it's just like, all of it was just extremely weird. The whole conversation was extremely weird. Uh, like Uzi and JT, it's not giving me a real relationship. I don't buy that at all. I don't believe that mess at all. Like, I don't care how many pictures they take. Uh, girl, y'all got me. Y'all got me with other girls. Y'all like, and the whole situation with Quavo and Sweetie was a wake up call. So it's like, no ma'am. I ain't believing that in my body, especially with no damn Uzi Vert. I'm not believing that at all. So, girl, we find out because Carisha Mann didn't respond and said, hey, you gonna stop playing with my, well, he didn't say my girl, he said my B. And I'm like, oh, girl, it's getting weird. Like, I was here for him taking up for his boo. I was here for him, like, saying whatever. But when he kept saying the B words, refer to this woman, I was like, this is a woman, she is her own person, she has her own identity. 
Like, what is going on? Why are you talking to her like that? It just made me extremely uncomfortable. I was like, uh-uh, girl, this ain't it. He just kept saying, it. come to find out, they said the offset tried to rob Uzi. And it's just like, what was it? <laughs> like, girl, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, honestly, I was on Instagram yesterday. I'm whispering like somebody listening to me because I know the Cardi B fans are listening. I was on Instagram the other day and Cardi B did like a moon pod like ad or something. I was like, why is Cardi B out here doing ads for moon pod? I'm pretty sure they don't have a big enough budget to pay Cardi what she is truly worth at the height of her career for like advertising. I just thought that was like, huh? Huh? I, I just, eh, eh, I just didn't get it. I didn't get it. So, you know, y'all tell me how y'all felt about that, but it, I was like, huh? This ain't, this ain't giving to me. Um, I was like, girl, what type of contract she's in, girl? Is he giving 360? <laughs> 360 deal? We don't know. I'm pretty sure somebody in the comments will tell us. But yeah, the girls are saying, hi, girl, summer, but my man's picking me up. I'm just like, girl, can we just move? Can we, like, can we move without our means, without our partners and stuff? Like, being, like, can we just center ourselves for a moment? Like, that, that goes for men and women. Let's go for both, like, both folks and non-binary folks. Everybody goes for everybody. Like, can you center yourself without, like, centering your, like, your partner who is probably a male? Like, for folks who, like, leave them out. Like, come on, come on. And that's why I be screaming at folks we call it, um, we call it the city girls. Sometimes they be coming off like patriarchy princesses because they be talking about body counts. I mean, even Megan was, um, you know, doing some stuff that was like, huh? Like, girl, you be out here talking about some throwing in their cat. And then you, like, what's a given? So, I don't know. Y'all tell me how y'all felt about that whole conversation. That whole situation was weird. You had uh, JT trying to explain, like, what happened. Carisha seemed like she really was impressed about it too much, but her man was big time upset. Rightfully so. Um, yeah, so that's that. Moving on to other news, girl. Um, congratulations to Lil Nas X for getting the number one Hot 100. Uh, Montero, call me by your name. It's number one. I knew it was. When I did the interview, I literally told him, I can see this going number one because it, I can just felt the controversy from it being so strong. And that boy is a genius when it comes to knowing how to get these folks to like stream his music. Like, I know y'all gonna be pressed about this, so let me do some more stuff to get y'all upset to keep my name relevant. Like he he used to run a troll account. <laughs> like he used to run a troll account. So of course he knows like like if it's anything these kids know how to do, like these younger like generation know how to do with their Twitter accounts and stuff, is they know how to make folks like this they run whole meme accounts. Like, you don't even know anything about this person. You don't know what they look like. But they know how to create conversations and keep stuff. It is hilarious. I love it so much. Also, let's talk about Saddle Baby. Um, he, you know, responded on Instagram um, to DMX's, you know, situation and of him being in a rushed in the emergency room and all of that. And he responded. He said, Lord, we said Lil Nas X, not DMX. And I'm just like, you just wish, like demise on a 21 year old black crewman. Like, are you serious right now? I was in a conversation the other day and we were um, with some of my friends. We were talking about a conversation where Hunter, um, you know, was on Clubhouse. I don't know if y'all are Clubhouse, but for those who follow um, Hunter, um, Hunter, um, Hunt, Hunty Lion on Twitter, um, they had said that like, like hetero folks can't exist like, cis hetero folks can't exist without, um, I, I might be misquoting it, but y'all whole job is to uphold this, this stuff. So that means, like, that y'all will have to ultimately, like, kill us. Like, that's your job. And, and like, it's just hearing how he said, look, not hearing, I'm hearing it because I, I'm, I'm just knowing, like, I've heard folks be just pressed about my sexuality. So to see this man, like, post on Instagram, and say that. Like, it's just, what? And, you know, Lil Nas X has been trolling and clapping back at these folks, but at the same time, Lil Nas X is not superhuman. Like, he's not superhuman, like, he's not, you know, somebody that is, like, built for all this criticism and all that. Yes! I, and, like, the more he talks, the more he's had conversations, he was talking about all the stuff he was going through last year. You would have expected him to be going through anything because, like, hey, girl, you got more money, you're straight, like, all these other stuff, like, 
but he was still feeling the pressure of you know of the industry and all this and making sure that he is able to keep up and get another one and i can imagine that's how stressful it is and look how much the industry look how many people the industry has taken from us how many talented people the industry has taken from us because it's ultimately like capitalism like capitalism like you all need to produce goods for us to make money like you need to be out here making us money and they be stressing these artists out like literally milking them dry uh, and it's, I just don't see it going anywhere anytime soon. So Lil Nas X is not immune to that. Like so, although he's playing and, and responding to stuff on Twitter, I hope that he's doing a good job to, to check his mental health and talk to people he needs to be talked to, and also getting him some therapy and all that because it is very, very important. Like I just cannot stress it enough because this man is fighting off like pastors, politicians, all these folks, and saying that like it's just like that's just not cool at all. So yeah, that's my thoughts on that. Moving on, as opposed to Miss Real Housewives of Atlanta, Miss Real Housewives of Atlanta, they have shown us the looks for season 13's reunion. I think this is probably the first season in a long time that I'm not really excited about. The only reason why I'm excited about this season is because I just wanted to go ahead and end. Like the reunion, I just wanted to be in so we can go ahead and have this conversation. But I'm not, you know, excited about none of the things. And that's we get a sickening. And I mean a sickening trailer that really shows us that, oh, they are really going there. And I really don't think it is going to be that. I may be wrong. They might polish it up and make it look really good. But I've not heard any tease. No more reunion comes. B. Scott will report something and say, girl, this is what went down to the reunion. Raka -ka -ka. Like it was. Like some other folks will say, girl, this is what allegedly happened at the reunion. It got real. But we don't have any of that. There is no hype around this reunion. There's normally hype before the trailer. So let's talk about the reunion looks. Um, Toya, start with the lowest. I did not like Toya's, um, uh, I did not like her Easter Sunday dress, outfit thing, whatever, and she looked like a walking black um, sheer Easter basket. Like she just, it just didn't give me anything. It just was very boring. It was just very, um, this is the Easter baskets in front of Save A Lot. Two for 25. It's just, I, I hated her outfit. I was like, girl, I don't know what this is, Toya. Now, there was one outfit, and that was Candy's, that I really was not sure about. I was not sure about Candy's. Look, I was like, girl, I don't know about this one, Candy. But then I saw the video, I was like, oh, this is actually, it looks good. But the thing about the reunion is, you are sitting down. So you need to look sickening as hell sitting down. And I just don't know if that was a look like, you know, with, I just don't know if that's going to look good sitting down. But I loved her hair. I loved that it was different. Um, Candace said, girl, I read the assignment. I did what I was supposed to do with the assignment. Like, period. Um, but Portia and Kenya owned this moment. Uh, Portia and Kenya looked the best. They looked the best. Kenya looked really good. I loved her outfit. Um, I loved it. I loved her hair. I loved the dress. I loved all the things. Um, Portia ate. Portia ate. Portia ate. Whoever did her dress. Who did the body? Because they did the body. I love, Portia looked amazing. I love her short hair. She just looked like it was her night, and I hope that we get to see that it's her night, because she looked good. Who else? Uh, Marlo outfit, I just saw her sitting, sitting down. It just was not giving. Uh, Cynthia looked good as well. Like <laughs> Cynthia looked good. Cynthia always looks good. Like Cynthia's just always you're safe. <laughs> but Cynthia always looks good. Like, Cynthia don't be lip syncing for her life, as you can tell, I've been watching um, a lot of Drag Race. But Latoya, if it had to come down to folks lip syncing for their life, it would be Latoya and Marlo. <laughs> and, and you know what, maybe it's a three-way lip sync between Candy too, because Candy stuff looked good sitting down, but she, like, it just, it, it just well, it looked, Candy's outfit looked good standing up when we saw, like, her doing the little things. But sitting down, it just, it just, I didn't like it. Her standing up, I didn't like it either. But once we saw more of it, it was eating. And that's the thing. When you are in front of camera, like sitting down, that's the job. That's the assignment. It's making sure that your outfit is eating while you're sitting down because you don't have time to be twirling around. Does it look good when you sit down because you're just giving pageant? Um, some folks, like, they tie the, the gowns and stuff, but that's just, you know, that's just, that's how it's been. So... I don't know, girl. So y'all know how. To, let me know how you feel about that. Let's move on and talk about Miss Earth, Wind, and Fire versus um, the Isaac Brothers. It was really good. I had to turn it off. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Like Steve Harvey, 
Like the first half, I was like, I can't do this, girl. I, I can't do it. I just was like, honestly, I like the old school Instagram. We playing two artists, like how Babyface and what's name was. Like it's just a, it's just a phone and just doing that, like just doing the things. Like that's it. That's all. I, like I miss that, like the vibe. And now it's like a whole production. Um, and it's just like, that's sorry, it's just like, let's make as much money as possible. And probably like a couple years ago, I would have said, you know, hey, let's do all these things to continue to make profit and stuff. And now I'm just like, that was me being a super capitalist with no capital. Just like, oh, let's do all these things. And I'm just like, now nah, I just prefer them just to be sitting in the studio playing jams and just talking and stuff. So I'm just like, ah. So, um, Ron Isaac looked amazing. All the guys look got like they look godly good. They just looked good. They looked moisturized. Outfits was on point. Steve Harvey got on my everlasting nerves. Like Steve Harvey really worked my nerves. Like I could not enjoy it for a minute. And today, so I know when they got like to the second half, they told Steve Harvey shut them. I know they told Steve Harvey to shut up because when he came back, Steve Harvey was not talking. Baby, he was quiet as a mouse, and I loved it. Like, Steve Harvey, this was not your night. Like, this ain't about you. I remember grandma sitting on the couch and doing that and doing this. And, and this is a song. I'm like, Steve Harvey, shut up, girl. Shut up. You ain't that funny. Honestly, when I go back and look and think of the kings of comedy, you weren't even the top three for me. I think it was honestly between, of course, Bernie Mac, Cedric the Entertainer, and who else? I really can't think. Wasn't necessarily Dia Hill. I think he did decent. But yeah, like you. <sighs> was Steve Harvey in the Kings of Comedy? I don't even know, girl. I need to go back and watch the Kings of Comedy, the Queens of Comedy. But all the Queens ate. From Cheryl to Moe to, uh, oh my gosh, Shamar. I can't think of her name. Samoa. Oh my God, all of them. Even to Miss, I can't think of her name. I can't think of her name. But all the Queens of Comedy ate. One of my favorite. Comedy specials like girl, we was watching that on Bootleg. Hey! <laughs> I gotta go find that. It was some good moments in it. Monique was eating. Monique has always been influential when it comes to comedy space. Um, so yeah, a couple of other things to talk about. We got to talk about the TI and Tiny responded to these accusations and stuff. They finally have, you know, responded to it and they saying, hey girl, you know, y'all got to show up, show us who you are. And it's just giving class and like we did this, but we want to know who y'all are so we can you know, scare the hell out of y'all because that's what they've been doing. Then we have the pole season finale trailer that was um, dropped today. I got to talk about all of those things and then some stuff about Kim Kardashian becoming a, the, the new billionaire, like she's a alleged billionaire or whatever, according to... Girl, we got to talk about it. So go ahead and watch part two of this video and we'll be right back. <laughs> 